Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here, and today we're back with a <laughs> unboxing. Yes. So I have no idea where this unboxing is coming from. Um, there's nothing on the box to indicate where it's from, so we're just going to open it up and see where it's from. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. We're going to grab some scissors here, and we're just going to kind of tear through this plastic trash bag material. I received this a little bit ago, actually, and I was trying to check my tracking numbers um, to see exactly where it came from, and I none of my tracking said that anything was due to be delivered yet, so we all know tracking can be a little off sometimes, so that's fine. So how are you guys doing today? Are you doing good? I hope you're all doing well. So let's get into this. I'm going to... I have a... Is diamond painting or hold on, painting with diamonds dot art? Seems, seems like it that's what the company is. It looks like it's maybe one kit, but it feels really heavy. So painting with paint with diamonds dot art is what I'm gonna say the company is. There's their social media deets if you want to check them out, and then a QR code, which you can just use your camera to pause this video and take a picture of that, and it should take you to wherever this goes. This is this is a this is a hefty one. All right, this is a little little thick. Okay, um, so they they got it like legit like stuffed in there. Like oh my gosh, it looks like maybe more than one canvas. If I'm thinking correctly, this might be my Liam Kelly art kits. So let's check it out. Looks like we have a legend on the side over here, and I am correct. It is my Liam art Kelly art kits. His painting was with a company, which I'm going to guess is paint with, uh, paint with, what is it? There he goes. All diamond painting. That's what it is. Premium diamond painting tool set. So you have, get this cute little reusable bag and it's branded, which is great because again, I didn't know where this was coming from. We're going to zoom you out just a little bit so you can see the entire thing. So we're going to zoom possibly we're going to zoom. Nope. That's going in. Hang on. All right, so that's as far as I can get you zoomed out. So we'll we'll just shift and move, <laughs> shuck and drive. So we have our toolkits, which come in baggies. So cool points for that already. Look at those ABs, y'all. Yes, I'm here for it. So we have a square and a round. We have two toolkits because obviously we got toolkits. So all diamond painting is the name of the company, and of course their trays are also branded. Love branding. So we have two trays in there. Companies love giving you doubles of things. I'm not sure why. You get two pens, two multi-placers. So one of y'all is going to be having a six-placer. The other one's going to have a three-placer. We have two caddies of wax, which of all course are also um, branded. We have, I was going to say, do only one of y'all get a squishy? Only, so we have two squishies. We have another, okay, I'm sorry. So we have a three, six, nine placer. We have a set of tweezers, which are the sharp ones. So be very careful when using those. Make sure they are sheathed so you don't stab or shank anyone. So that is what comes in the toolkit for this. So we're going to take a look at these two kits and see what they got to offer. And immediately I can tell the difference between the square and the round kit because if you look at the canvas, so if you look at the canvas there, you see that round one has the white training wheels and then the square one has just the square... Uh, spots where you would put the diamonds so so far i'm liking it the back is that nice velvety soft like not like short lint short lint's a little stiffer um maybe that polyester i want to say maybe um canvas so it's really soft on the back which means it's malleable meaning you can move it around and fold it and do whatever you need to do to it and it should take its original shape back um, I'm not telling you to go out here and WWE your kit, but I'm just saying if you need to roll it backwards to get it to flatten out, you should be able to do so. I love the fact that they have the branding everywhere. Welcome to the family they have down here. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. Your diamonds are covered by the oh no insurance and premium quality kit, velvet canvas, high quality tool set. And I can't read the bottom. Something with diamonds, something, oh, hold on, something diamonds, finest diamonds. Okay. And then we have our legend on both sides. So here is what a picture of that image looks like. There's no, oh, I lied. If I actually look at the gigantic things of drills that I got. Now I've been dying to work on a round because I've been getting a lot of squares lately. 
And I'm honestly sick of squares right now. So I kind of want to do something with a round drill. And of course, the one I'm opening right now is a square. So we're going to take a look at their squares and see how they are. Which I didn't realize it, but Liam Kelly, uh, I confirmed it with him that his artwork is licensed to this company. So I don't know if all their images are licensed or if they have, like, because they did have a section on there for artists. Um, so they do have some legally licensed artwork. I will say that, which most companies that have some legally licensed artwork either will have, the rest of them will be stock photos or other artists as well. And here is a picture again of that image. I just thought it was a beautiful, beautiful image. So this particular image has 33 colors and it looks like numbers and letters. And we have a couple of symbols down there. Nothing too, you know, irate. Uh, I don't see anything that's going to cause me pause when working on this. So let's take a look and like right off the bat, I saw these AB gems. If you are new to diamond painting, you don't know what an AB is. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. When you lay them down on your canvas next to a regular drill, it will pick up the light from that regular drill and make it sparkle brighter, just a little bit brighter as well. Because if one's out here shining, we all out here shining, you heard? So with that said, that is what an AB drill is. And it has the letter A next to it to let you know that that is an AB drill. I'm only seeing one AB drill in this, which is fine. Because, of course, you guys already know if you want to add more AB sparkle to your your diamonds, you have Diamond Painting with, or DP with sparklers with T-Maw. Um, and you also have Diamond Drills USA who also – there's a lot of companies that sell extra drills if you want to do it. Um, do it up a little bit extra. But from what I can tell – and you guys know I'm super nitpicky when it comes to squares, okay? Super nitpicky because – Having a bad square drill canvas can make or break a canvas. So those little dimples in the bottom of the, the drills that you're seeing, that is just cosmetic. It does not affect your kit at all. Um, what you're looking for is the, like the little knobbly bits on the side. Like there's a little piece of something right there and a little chunk of whatever right there. And I can see a little bit of knobbly bit on that drill too. So we will have to be careful with these drills when working with the squares. Usually what I like to do is I check out the darker colors. The darker colors are usually the most mass produced. So they usually end up giving you the most issues. Um, that's not to say that the other colors won't. These are just prone to have those issues. Um, and from what I can tell, there's a couple of little something somethings, you know, whatever on there. But I don't think something like that is going to affect it. What you're looking for is the pieces that are like dominantly sticking out or like you see how this one is like curved in weird so i will have to be careful when working on this one because uh some of the drills look like they might have a little bit of extra plastic what happens is one we have a straggler somebody's not practicing social distancing uh, what happens is if you try to use those drills on your canvas it will make the drills pop um because over time with poor glue it will essentially start to shrink that glue that's not being used up so that the diamonds come closer together. Well, if there's a little piece of extra plastic on the side of it, you put it down not knowingly, that can make your drills pop off the canvas because there's no space for them to just line up nicely. Um, so that little piece, it'll keep shrinking the glue and that little piece just pops it off. Sorry, I'm getting super technical, but just in case I did notice there's an influx of new people on the channel. So, hey, y'all, I miss coffee. Um, so... The drills look really good for the squares. Again, there are a couple of ones that are going to give me a little bit of a hiccup, but that's okay. Just take your time when working on uh, canvases like this, especially when they're new, just to make sure the drill quality looks really good. So that is the drills for the first canvas, and I'm not going to pull them all out. There's no need for all that. Um, so we're going to roll this up. And I haven't done a landscape painting in a very long time. Uh, landscape paintings tend to have the most confetti. And right now, I am not in a confetti mood. So, yeah. So, we're going to undo this one. We're going to take a look at the drills. This one looks like chocolate. So, of course, I had to take a look at it. They are super sparkly. You are seeing these in natural sunlight. So, what you're seeing on camera should be what you see in person. We also have two more AB drills in this round kit. And that is what this image is. And the actual picture from the website will pop up with these. So that is what that image is. These round drills look really, really good. We have some that are trying to come out of the bag there. That happens sometimes. You just open the bag, put them back in there. And I just kind of make sure there's not a whole bunch of air in there because that can 
cause static problems sometimes. And then you just shake them around and take a look. I'm going to guess this is 3371. Boom. It's a dark chocolate color. We have a bunch of 939s. They look good, nice and sparkly there for you. So yeah, so have you guys tried all diamond painting? Um, they are, they do have their own website. They're not on like Etsy or anything like that. They do have their own website. Uh, from the looks of it, they do have licensed artwork. Again, I did confirm with Liam Kelly that he was licensed with this company. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it was him that mentioned it in his story on Instagram. And I just happened to see it. And I love his artwork. So I went over and grabbed a couple of pieces. So it looks like this uh, square kit. We're going to move those drills off to the side. We don't need that anymore. Looks like this is the square kit here, obviously. And from symbol clarity wise, let's take a look all, all over. The symbol clarity doesn't look too bad. I'm a little worried about those fives. That's going to trip me up. That K and the X, that's going to be something to have to watch out for. There we go. So it looks like the symbol clarity is good on the kits. Uh, again, the number five over there, for some reason, I, I don't know if I just didn't have it in focus correctly or not. Probably not. But like, here, let me show you. See like, see like right here? That looks like an eight. But it, and there is an eight on the canvas, but it's not that color. So I know it's a number five. But some of them are just a hair blurry. So we're going to have to watch out for that as well. And then they, they mad wrong for putting the X and the K together like that. Like, no, switch those colors up. Um... So if I were to contact this company, I would tell them about the symbol clarity on some of the number fives and to watch putting like symbols close together because that's going to trip somebody up, especially if you don't have the best eyesight. K and X together is a nightmare. So let's look at the second canvas. So the second canvas is a cabin in the woods. And this one, it has those white training wheels on it. So I don't think those will pop up as much. I'm not a big fan of training wheels in general, but when they're like this, like you can tell, you can barely tell just looking at this image that that is there. Um, I am worried about like the blending because I see patches of color here, um, but I can't make out, like I can make out this that this is a cabin, but I can't make out the rest of it. And you don't know how this image is going to turn out until you work on it. And of course, this is a darker image. So I can see the water down here. I can see all the little specks of light. And then there's like a tree over here. So let's look at the clarity of the symbols on this kit. Yeah, you got to watch those Gs. Trying to... Oh. Hold on. Stuck to the plastic. Trying to make sure that these symbols are good. From what I can tell on this kit, there aren't any symbols that are going to cause me any trouble. I'm just worried about the square kit, which is a little bit smaller. The square kit, which at the bottom here, I just saw this and it's really cool looking. They tell you the size it's a custom diamond painting. It's not a custom. It just, it's Liam Kelly's work. It's a 50 by 70. So this first one is a 50 by 70. And then this next one is a 40 by 60. I'm going to guess they're probably going to start putting the names of the kits on there, which is why it says that. But I didn't order these as a custom or anything. And then, of course, we have the legend on both sides. One of the things I like about these is that not only does it have the legend on both sides, it also has an image on both sides as well. So down here on the bottom left, you have an image. And then up here on the top right, you have an image as well. So there you have it. Guys, what do you think? Um, my first impression... I, I think that they're okay. There's a couple of little things that can be fixed. Uh, no biggie. Uh, the biggest problem I think I'm going to have 
is with the square kit with the fives and the k's and the x's the fives are a little bit blurry in some areas the x's and k's are a little bit you know go make me go cross-eyed but we're gonna we gonna check it out we're gonna check it out i don't know when i'll be able to get to these kits um because as you guys know right now i'm slowing down a little bit but but I promise I will get to them at some point. Um, I'm lightening, I'm lightening my, my workload by doing other things. So um, I will get to these as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, let me know how you feel about these canvases down in the comment section below. Because I can give you my opinion, but I'd like to hear yours. So please, 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 if you watch this, put a comment down below. Tell me how what you think of these two canvases. We have this first one. Um, I don't think they have names. There's no names on them, which is probably another reason why they say custom. I'm sure Liam Kelly has a name for his kits, but these particular ones don't have names. So I'm going to say like the Aztec one because it kind of has like the stairs look Aztec in this one. And then we have this cabin in the woods. So let me know what you think. Square around. Which one do you like the best? What do you like? What don't you like about it? Let me know. With that said, though, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Any other questions, comments, or concerns about these two kits, put them down in the comment section and I'll answer you as best as I possibly can. But with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets. So please stay safe, stay caffeinated, stay crafty, and always remember to always try to be kind to others, be courteous, and be cool. Bye, guys.